Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I made quite a few mistakes in my last video reviewing Putri Indonesia, which I kept calling Miss Indonesia, and a lot of you let me know that Miss Indonesia is actually the pageant that sends a girl to Miss World. So I'm really sorry for all the mistakes in that, but I kind of gave that disclaimer because I didn't do a ton of research, just because I, I literally just don't have the time right now because I have a newborn baby. She's in her swing over there. Ow. There she is. Oh, Jesus. So one of my biggest requests lately was to review Miss Brazil, or as it is called, Miss Brazil Be Emotion. Is that right? It better be right because <laughs> I'm tired of making mistakes. This is going to be more of a contestant review, so I'm not really going to review or recap the pageant. And I can tell you, wow, this girl... She is already one of my favorites for Miss Universe 2019. I am so blown away. I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited to watch her preparation for Miss Universe. I already cannot wait to see her as a contestant at Miss Universe. Her name is Julia... Julia Horta? Julia Horta? I don't know how to say it. I'm not even gonna worry about that anymore. I'm done stressing over pronunciation of names. Julia, the new Miss Brazil Universe 2019, she stood out to me from the beginning of the pageant. I watched the pageant, I didn't obviously understand everything that was being said, but she totally caught my eye. I don't know if it was just the it factor about her, her hair, I don't know what it was, but she totally stood out to me. I could not help but watch her and I had a good feeling she was going to do well in the competition. Of course, in the pageant there were so many beautiful girls, I mean, it's Brazil, but there were I think 27 contestants and there were so many that I was like, wow, this girl has got it going on. She's gorgeous, her walk's amazing. They have that personality factor that you don't see in every country. Sometimes when I'm watching a pageant like this and I see the crowd, I'm so envious because at a pageant like Miss Brazil, Miss Venezuela, Miss Philippines, it, there's such a strong support from the country and there's so many people watching. It's so exciting. Honestly, in Canada, people don't even really know what Miss Universe is. They don't even know what Miss Universe Canada is, that we send a representative to Miss Universe Basically, I'd say like 98% of the time, if people ask me, oh, you were, you went to Miss Universe? Or if I say something about Miss Universe or whatever, they always will say, oh, is that the pageant that Steve Harvey screwed up and, you know, crowned the wrong winner? Yes. Yes, it is. Anyway, back to the pageant. First thing I want to say about the new Miss Brazil, Miss Universe, Julia, is that I hope she does not change a thing for her preparation, during her preparation for Miss Universe in terms of her look and all that. I love her hair, I love her face, I love her body, I love her everything. Her personality seems amazing. I really, really, really hope she doesn't change anything because honestly, she could step on the Miss Universe stage tomorrow and be in the top five. She's already in my top five. I think it's maybe a little premature to make that decision, but I'm saying it now. I just think she looks so natural. She's just amazing and she has that I don't know what it is, relatable, natural look that I know the Miss Universe brand is going for now. I hope she doesn't change her nose, her teeth, nothing, because I know if she was in some countries, they would tell her to change those things, and I hope she doesn't. Please stay the same, please don't change a thing. She's perfect, done, moving on. So I think there were 27 contestants. As I said, she stood out to me, and what I found out about her is that she's a social media influencer, a journalist, a presenter, and a model. She's 24 years old, which is the perfect age for Miss Universe. I don't really know what the perfect age is. And her swimsuit body and her walk, I mean, come on. She looked amazing. Her walk was on fire. Her body is incredible. As I said, I cannot wait to see her on the Miss Universe stage already. She seems super smart and well-spoken. As I've said, I don't speak the language. I don't exactly know what she was saying, but she seems to be well-spoken. So we're just gonna go with that. In the gown portion, I would have liked to see a little more personality, a little bit more facial expressions, a little bit more kind of excitement to her walk or something. I think it just needed a little bit more power but she has a lot of time to work on that. And sometimes you never know what could have happened behind the scenes, like maybe something happened, it threw her off, but when it comes to Miss Universe, you have to be on every single moment. Even if something did happen, you cannot let it impact you. What you wanna see, in, you know, this is just my opinion, but what you wanna see in a swimsuit walk or an evening gown walk 
is basically the feeling that you can't stop watching them. In her final question, again, I have no idea what she was saying, but she seemed confident. She looked beautiful. The crowd seemed to love what she said. And obviously it was good enough to get her the crown because she ended up winning Miss I almost forgot what pageant we were, I was watching. She ended up winning the title of Miss Brazil Universe or Miss Brazil Be Emotion, as they call it. I don't really know what exactly that's supposed to mean, but whatever. She's incredible. I'm excited to see her come to Miss Universe and see what she brings. Honestly, at this point I can say she looks like she has what it takes to win Miss Universe 2019. Definitely a top five contender. And already it's gonna be another exciting year to watch Miss Universe. If you wanna see more contestant reviews from me for Miss Universe, so for example, like Miss Colombia, Miss Venezuela, if you wanna see me review those specific contestants, I don't actually know if Miss Venezuela was chosen. If you want to see more videos from me that reviews the specific contestants for Miss Universe, like this video, please let me know in the comments because honestly the way that I make my videos is from your guys' suggestions. So I take your suggestions and that's how I decide what videos to make and so it's really important for me to get your guys' feedback. I love it. That's it. If you want to keep seeing more from me, please subscribe and yeah, that's, that's about it. I think that's about it.